Hello everyone, and welcome to this video where we'll cover common questions asked about connecting new data sources in Bold BI. Question number one, which SQL data sources can you connect with Bold BI? Bold BI supports Amazon Aurora, Amazon Redshift, Google Cloud SQL, and other SQL data sources. You can connect to your data source either live or in extract mode. Some of the connections, like Amazon Redshift and Azure SQL Data Warehouse, support only live mode. We also support ODBC connections, but only in the Enterprise BI Edition in live mode. Question number two, how does a live mode connection work? Well, in live mode, the Bold BI designer executes queries directly in the database server and fetches the results to visualize data in the dashboard widgets in real time. Question number three, how do extract mode connections work? In extract mode, the data will be moved to data store and the data for the dashboard will be served from there. For Bold BI Cloud Service, your data will be placed in an Azure SQL database specifically allocated for your tenant. For Enterprise BI, data will be stored in the data store location that you will configure during the application startup. You can specify the intervals in which the data needs to be synchronized between your data server and intermediate database. Question number four, how do I connect a private server to Bold BI? To connect your private data servers to Bold BI, make sure to whitelist these IP addresses in your server to avoid service disruptions. Question number five, can Bold BI connect to a secure Microsoft SQL server? Yes, Bold BI can connect to a secure Microsoft SQL server when the enable SSL option is enabled. Question number six, how long does it take for live mode connections to execute queries on your data server? In the Bold BI cloud application, the maximum time for all query executions is limited to three minutes. After three minutes, the connection will be terminated. For the enterprise BI application, you can modify the command execution time according to your query execution time. Question number seven, what are the authentication types supported in Bold BI? Windows authentication is supported in Enterprise BI only for Microsoft SQL Server. All other SQL data sources are connected to server authentication. Question number eight, how do I reauthorize my OAuth account if it expires? To do this, go to the data source tab on the left navigation bar and click My Connections available at the top. Here you'll find a list of connections created by you. Now, click the kebab menu available on the right side of each data source. By selecting reauthorize, you can reauthorize the OAuth account. Question number nine, how do I combine multiple data sources with Bold BI? Combining data from multiple resources is possible in Bold BI using the shared tables concept. It allows you to prepare the data source by joining all the extracted data from various resources. The resultant data source can be further used to bind the data into a dashboard for creating interactive visualization. Let me open the data source design page where you can find shared tables at the bottom on the left side. On expanding it, you will see all your previously extracted tables. Now drag and drop the table into the design canvas to combine them. To learn more about this, click the link added to this video's description. Question number 10. What are the supported data column types? And is it possible to change data types? Bold BI supports number, text, date, and Boolean column types. In the data source designer, you can change the column type here. Question number 11. How do you add advanced connection string options for SQL data sources in Bold BI? In the SQL configuration panel, you can find the additional connection parameters option. Using this option, you can enter additional parameters for your SQL connection. And now for our final question of the day. Question number 12. Where do I find the API documentation for connecting to data sources in Bold BI? You can find the API documentation of your data sources in the top right corner of the Bold BI data source configuration panel. In this video, we have seen common questions asked when connecting a new data source in Bold BI. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.